In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at something brand new inside of Illustrator CS5, and that is the Perspective Grid tool. Now you can activate it from the toolbar right down here, and you see you've got two tools, the Perspective Grid tool and the Perspective Selection tool. To start off, select the Perspective Grid tool, and you'll immediately get this grid. Now you can move this grid and make anything you want, so you can make it lower, you can make it higher, you can extend this in any direction you want. After all, this is just a grid that you make. You can do the same with any of the corners, you can move them in any way you want. And you can also remove entire sections here. So it's very easy to work with. And all you do is you get certain parts here, so you can do something like this. And you can start moving the different objects here um, as you wish. But I'm gonna, let's just hide this grid. I should make a new grid here. Um, so let's, I'm just gonna open a brand new document that's the same size and I'm gonna take the grid. I'm gonna make a grid here. And I'm gonna start drawing. So I'm gonna but I'm going to select the Perspective Selection Tool. So you know the normal Move Tool and Selection Tool is the keyboard shortcut V. Now to get the, the Perspective Move Tool, or the Perspective Selection Tool, you hold on Shift key and then click on V, so it's Shift V. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a rectangle here, I'm going to drag it from the top to the bottom, and at the same time going left. Now you can see it follows my perspective, and it follows my perspective how far down I want to go. So you can basically make this triangular shape here, especially if I fill it with black and you'll see what I'm doing. This is really cool. Now you have to remember, you can't make it the move tool, because it doesn't move it in perspective. You have to make it the perspective move tool. You can move this in perspective back and forward. You can change the width of this box. In this case, I'm pulling this box down here, and I can also remove it. I can also as easily drag out a new box in perspective, which I'm going to do now. I'm going to do it in a panel here, and then I'm going to select my right grid, because this is my left grid. And then I'm going to select my right grid, and I'm going to drag another box, which is going to be the same here, and I'm going to go in and move this just a couple of pixels there we suddenly have this shape here. So you may have guessed that I'm beginning to build a house, which is a good challenging thing that we had to struggle with a bit and mix around in order to do in a great way in Illustrator before. Now this is really simply. I'm gonna dr again grab another tool here and I'm gonna, on the right grid, I'm gonna just drag out, so let's make it two, let's make it three by two here. I'm going to fill this with, I'm going to fill it with a grey. Let's make sure I'm in the correct one here. And then, you know what I'm going to do, is I'm going to I'm going to use my perspective move tool. I'm going to hold down my alt or option key, and I'm going to just drag it out to the side. I'm going to hold my shift key in order to constrain it here to one line. And what this does is it duplicates it. If I then use the keyboard to get Command D on the Mac or Control D on the PC, it's going to duplicate it in perspective as many times as we need. Now again with the perspective mode tool, I can just shift click and select all of these, hold down the ultra option key and drag it down, again holding the shift key to constrain it and I can make it that a duplicate, and I can continue going down. And let's do the same, selecting the left grid, selecting the box, making the windows roughly the same size here, three by twos, selecting the perspective one here, just moving it over, and duplicating it, selecting them all, Dragging down, holding down the shift key, holding down the option key to alt key on the PC, and then duplicating it. 
I'm then going to remove two of these here in the middle. I'm going to zoom in. And let's make a door here. So I'm going to drag that out. Again, I'm doing it in per all in perspective, all at once, like this. And let's change this to, let's make this more, more white. Now let's do a final thing. Let's utilize one of these lower ground planes here. I'm going to select the, using the perspective mode tool, select the horizontal grid here. And I'm going to drag out another shape here. And in this case, I'm doing it out from the door. And this is meant to be sort of a path, walking path. If I want, let's make it darker so we can kind of spot about asphalt. Then I'm going to click and close to hide the grid. And then you can see here, just in a couple of minutes here, I built a house. Now it's not the greatest looking house, but I've built a house just using rectangular shapes placed in perspective using this perspective grid.